we usually do when we first arrive, but after a while you start to realize that you really can't leave and constantly chasing an unattainable goal will start driving you a bit crazy. We it's like we're waiting for an inciting incident! Anyway... Mmm, sneaking out to make out with my boyfriend that I definitely have? Okay, okay, you caught me. I need to measure the exterior hydraulic mechanisms of door one. Addison, nice to meet you. All clear. Ah, stop me! Zed, I'm so sorry. My parents have always taught me that zombies are disgusting, dead-eyed freaks, but you're not. I have a job to do, and you've no interest in remaining here. See you around out there. Don't bother, Zagreus. I was just leaving. I hope you've thought through all of this. For both our sakes. I can't keep bailing you out each time you get in over your head. This offers a big one. Uh, wait. No, no, no. That was very weird. What is wrong with you? Salutation, sir. May I please enter? People. Where's Mia? You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> Look. Officer. Right. Deputy. A fucking pocket knife? Wait! <laughs> Ah, shit! I was angry, just like you. I know you want to hurt the topsiders for what they've done to us. But who are you willing to lose? Milo? Clagger? Powder? Whatever happens. Boundaries, people. Bathroom doors are closed for a reason, and parents should never ever talk about sex in front of their kids. Cecil asked me to save Mount Rushmore, but I left Amber waiting in the room, so I gotta... <laughs> I'll tell you what that is. Not our problem anymore. Forget it. I'm done with all that. I thought you said this place would be easy to find. I lost my way twice. I wouldn't have found it at all had it not been for that mark on the door. I am listening. A favor for a favor. You five will be insecure and you twelve will be self-absorbed. Wow, nice work. Now, now, everyone, let's give the mentor some room. Sorry, new souls. 37, that's enough. Hey. Ooh. Inspirational speeches are harder than they look in the movies. What about the kingdom rules? Pierce! You destroyed the dice! What are you doing? Ah, what sort of madman would do this? Never mind all the fancy talk, Selena. Let's just bash him and take the bloody thing. <laughs> Ooh, Gramps has got a temper on him. Well, rage all you like, mate. All's fair dinkum in love and war. Bet you wish you'd just given us the crystal now, don't ya? Suit yourself. It's very thirst quenching, though. I think we'll just stick with flying. We've dealt with the Fire Nation before. Secret love cave, let's go. I? You know, it was really unclear. It's a giant mushroom. We support you too, weirdo. Okay, -o. The video may be gone, but the memories are still in your dome piece. Okay, that was fun. But it also seemed super personal? What aren't you telling me? Get me wrong, Sunshine. Being a tinker is really swell and all, but I wouldn't go around bragging about your talent. It's not like spring depends on you. Mmm, this ought to be good. Oh yes, the new girl. <laughs> I don't know. I still want to help people, but maybe I'm losing my touch. <gasps> Motion smoothing? Wait, is he gonna jump? Onion, don't you do it! Onion! It's okay, I'll catch you, Onion! <gasps> okay, that, that that's fine too. Are you kidding me? I really hated that to the point of where I literally am about to restart that part because I hated how I jumped into that vowel. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, I was gonna say more things, I think. Oh yeah, I, I played that on a new baritone ukulele that I got for Christmas. It's really nice and I really like the sound of it. Why are you looking at me like that? Wait, no. I know what this is about. Ugh, I knew you'd be weird about me letting you escape. I told you it's not because I like you. Sorry! You were freaking out and it was freaking me out! A town that hates princesses? Should I buy property here? Is what I would have said before I joined you. <laughs> Go team. I'm sorry. I got angry. It's something I'm working on. Oh, you are? Yes! Alright, alright everyone. Let's wrap this up. No Nut November is a sacred month where many thick boys partake in a yearly tradition to honor their gamer purity. Today we'll be using differential equations to calculate how powerful Samson Girl's impact will be on modern culture. Now let's establish our first assumption. Hello, Zuko here. 
Uh, but I guess you probably already know me, sort of. Look, Sokka, you're going to fail a lot before things work out. Even though you'll probably fail over and over and over again, you have to try every time. Well, you've seen me. You know, when I was attacking you? Look at this fucking clown. In those moments when you're not sure the undead are really dead dead, don't get all stingy with your bullets. I mean, one more clean shot to the head. As zombies began to outnumber humans, well, that's when you had to cut all emotional ties. If the girls in your neighborhood are now fucked up little monsters, well, maybe it's time to stop driving carpool. Is that me over there? Torikoto. They brought Neon? Huh. She's fast, but can she fly? Neon! Leave some for me, yeah? Hey, Phoenix. If I die, Viking funeral. All the way. Do something. Anything. Where is it? Can someone uncover this? They lived happily ever after, and horribly ever before. Again, I feel giddy. My head breaks. It is necessary to have a rest. Sorry, but I have to work. You do not look healthy. What should we speak about now? The truth is not so beneficial as harmful, it appears. 